Hello and welcome. My name is Beardy, and I am here playing Starbound with uh, Rob from Dulles Gaming. <laughs> hey, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I am here, and I'm playing something completely different, and I actually know nothing about this game, and uh, Adam here is going to help me out, I think. I don't know. I'm going I'm to need a lot of help, though, because, well, uh, I'm pretty useless at stuff like this, at least when I'm starting out. All right. Uh, so... In this game, um, you start out in the remains of your ship, um, and each race has their own kind of backstory on how you got there. Uh, so for the glitch, it says, As one of the few glitch to achieve self-awareness, I was forced to flee my home with little preparation. My ship has been damaged, and I am in orbit of an unknown planet. To keep moving, I'll need to repair the ship's thrusters and patch up the hull. Okay, so here's, here's, here's my first issue. <laughs> Sorry. Just bring, okay, so this Earth has been ripped apart. I have been in search of a new home. So is, I take it this is in the future then. Like, this is a far future. This is like, what, like, like, how convenient that I've left and I have a ship and Earth has been ripped apart. That's highly suspicious, I think. <laughs> I think I probably had a lot to do with that, and this is just me trying to get away. Whoa. Oh, yeah. client server connection. No longer valid. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, so I guess I had to do something. There we go. So are we? So Adam, are we? We're in totally different ships here, then. Uh, yes, we are in totally different ships, but we should be what? above the same planet. <laughs> okay. So how do I fire my lasers and not? Do it? <laughs> oh, oh, it's not that kind of game. This isn't. This isn't full PvP, is it? This is something else. We are doing. We're doing cooperative, are we not? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I believe that there might be a PvP option, but I haven't looked too no, closely fine. into it. <laughs> if I accidentally shoot you, it may be on purpose just to see what happens, but. Uh, Okay, sorry. Just letting you know, I do stuff like that. <laughs> you know that I'm absolutely insane, right? Okay. Yeah, uh, just, just uh, a little bit. Okay, good. So, uh, I'm assuming I just go and go and uh, check out this uh, robot thingy or this. Uh, yes. Ah, there we go. Air, air, info, sail, runner, inner loop. Oh, Jesus. Horse, <laughs> average, twenty three. Last. Okay. Something's wrong with the computer, man. What do I do? Uh, there should be reboot. Um, it? Yes, the the reboot button, <laughs> and then like issue command. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So, I I have touched on this, uh, Adam, and I I I've been managed to get down to the planet. But what ultimately is our goal here? Our goal is to get back to Earth, or no? No, Earth is gone. Earth is history. <laughs> so we're we're gonna rebuild, right? Uh, more or less. Uh, the the goal of this game is um just to kind of build and survive uh, in these harsh environments. And uh, your your ship can be upgraded, and oh. you can create bases and stuff down on, on the planet. Uh, but I'm not sure how long ago you uh, you tried this game out, but uh, they have um, they have kind of a quest slash storyline okay. that, that, that will uh, teach you all the basics and get your ship to be fully upgraded. So... Um, and, and and that can take as long as we want. We could we we, we could honestly spend ep episodes upon episodes just exploring different planets because each of these planets is procedurally generated. And so uh, this, they have this would no be planets, a completely which... different planet. Like if I started this game, this would be a completely different planet then. Right. Cool. Neat. And okay. uh, and one cool thing uh, is that uh, if you decide to venture out on your own, um, like and actually maybe start a single player campaign if you start a single player campaign with a character that you have um you'll keep everything in your inventory and everything in the ships um the ships hold uh and you'll start above a different planet if if i start with this character in a different game you mean yes oh cool so oh that's kind of neat but and but i wouldn't be able to take this character back in a multiplayer then or would uh I? yes you would oh wasn't that neat <laughs> Very cool. So I guess the next, of course, logical question is if we're if we need to repopulate, we need to find some women. <laughs> uh, yes, that, that, <laughs> that would probably be the best choice. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think they've added that game mechanic in, in, in this game just oh, yet. <laughs> OK, well, we, we need we need to send them a, a forum note or something, because <laughs> <laughs> at this point, it's kind of a sausage party. But I'm just saying. Um, anyway, so I've got some swords, and uh, sorry, I've been kind of looking around here. I've got a sword. I've got a uh, couple swords, actually. Can That's I do, fine. Can I do a wield or no? Uh, yes, uh, you can, but it needs to. Uh, actually, I think you can do a wield 
Oh, um, below the sword, uh, it says, uh, like, it has L or R. Um, and on some weapons it has L and R both together. That means it's a uh, two-handed weapon. Uh, okay. But if it just has uh, L, that means that that's in your left hand. Whoops, sorry, and you can, can you send that again? Sorry, I oh. kind of, I hit decline. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you have something in your left hand, you can right-click on something in the hotbar to put it in your right hand. Okay. And uh, depending oh, on if so you have one's, two... one's two-handed, and the other one is one-handed. Okay. Yes. All right, I see. All right. And uh, you can click on my picture to beam to my ship and uh, vice versa, and uh, we, can, we can go explore this planet that we've uh, oh, hey, came upon. That's uh, <laughs> Oh, wow. That is a huge sword. Holy crap. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now if I swing this at you, is it going to hurt you? Uh, no, it should not. Okay. <laughs> I'm relieved but saddened at the same time. Just to let you know. <laughs> okay, so where are we going? All right, so you can uh, you can hover over the teleporter pad and uh, press E, and you can beam to planet. Oh. Ah, beam to planet. Awesome. Okay, so uh, we're we're gonna. Whoa! Very cool. Yeah, this, it's been quite a while since I played this. Uh, I think the last time I made it down to a planet, and then I think I tried to use that uh, funny little device that you start with. Um, this one. The, the matter manipulator, yes. That's, <laughs> and I think I was trying to do something to a tree, and nothing happened. I just, yeah, it, it, this it is does what take I did a... for about 10 minutes, and then I quit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it, it, it does take a while um, oh. with the matter manipulator, and uh, probably whenever you started playing, they had. Uh, pickaxes and such that you can make, uh, okay. but they have since improved the game to where you can just upgrade your amount of manipulator to where it won't be useless after the first 20 minutes of play, and you have something attacking you. Ah! Okay, matter, matter manipulator is bad to attack stuff, probably. Uh, it's uh, it's not usually used as a weapon. <laughs> okay. All right, done. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, as far as... Oh, hey, flashlight. Oh, cool, <laughs> the uh, mouse wheel. That does stuff. Right on. Okay, yes. uh, good to know. And uh, <clears throat> if you press R, you can switch to the amount of manipulator. I think I dropped all of my torches. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to <laughs> see if I can't give them back to you because I picked them up. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember this was your idea. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, and I, I, oh. I'm trying to regret it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's only going to get worse. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> Now, uh, the goal is, of course, to find... Now, do we need to eat or anything here? Uh, yes. The... Okay. <clears throat> Actually, uh, I'm trying to think. It's, it's been a while, and they've, uh, they've patched in some stuff and patched out some stuff. Um, you have your health bar and your energy bar. Um, the energy bar can be used for weapons and... Uh, for uh, guns, uh, specifically. And your... Um, so that's the green bar. Yes, and uh, it can also be used for your, your technology whenever you uh, get to unlock those. <clears throat> All right, so uh, I'm trying to remember um, if uh, if coal can still be used to power your ship, but right now let's. Uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at the quest log. Uh, we need to repair the threshers and patch up the hull. So. Oh, uh, we just need to create a crafting table. So if you press C, you can op you can open up the crafting menu. Gotcha. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, let's see here. And uh, if, if you ever ever reach uh, each object, it tells you what you need to build it. Okay, so I, I don't see any crafting tables here. There must be another... Uh, oh, furniture. Here we go. Wood crafting table. Ah, excellent. So... Um, <laughs> oh, wood planks! Okay, I got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, uh, and so the sword wouldn't work to uh, chop down these trees? Cause that's Unfortunately, no. Because, you know, technically speaking, although that <laughs> probably wouldn't be good for the sword. Yeah, probably not. I mean, mine, mine already looks uh, pretty beat up as is. <laughs> so, do they degrade at all? Like, the weapons? Uh, I don't believe so. I don't think the developer has uh, has added that in yet. I think you just killed a butterfly. Excellent! <laughs> <laughs> Let it be known. <laughs> Deluxe okay. Slayer of Butterflies. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get messy here. I can see this. Okay, so a crafting table, that will allow us to build some basic... Uh... So these these guys here, so pretty much any... Uh, 
dude we see floating around here they are enemies Whoa. uh not uh not normally it's about it's about uh 50 percent of them are our enemies and uh, the other 50 percent are neutral okay so uh, this guy here looks like he's probably more neutral yes unless uh, uh, unless oh. you smack him <laughs> oh, you can just walk right through him. Okay, cool. Good to know. And uh, also, there are plants in the world that we can uh, use to uh, get food and such from. Oh, uh, there is a hunger bar, but I mean, there's not like a hunger bar, but uh, there is uh, a hunger mechanic in this game. Um, and it will tell you uh, whenever you start to get hungry. Okay, and can you officially like <clears throat> die from not eating? Uh, yes, you will start to Ooh. lose health from wait, starvation. Wait, chest. I... I ah, what's <clears> that? <throat> oh, bandage? Wood planks. Hey! Wood planks, pixels. Ah, I got some pixels. I, uh, oh. pixels, <laughs> pixels are currency. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I mean, it, there, there's there's a lot in this game, but uh, we can we can easily take it slow. Um, oh, if you... so we have to turn our unrefined wood into wood planks. Yes. Okay, hold on. And All right, so I'm going to build a crafting table, and I'm just going to drop it. Whenever you pick it up, it will complete the quest for you. Or, let me see if I can try and figure out how to play this game again, because I haven't played it in a while. There. Woo! Oh, quest complete. Great. I can use this crafting table to create lots of items that I can make with, can't make with my bare hands. Excellent. Okay. And uh, whenever you place it down, all you need to do is just stand near it and uh, press C again, and the crafting menu will be, uh, will have a whole lot more items. Um, one cool thing about this game, now that it's kind of raining and that there's environmental changes, uh, each planet has it, its own, uh, its own set of environmental challenges. Um, sometimes there's acid rain, sometimes there's meteors, uh, sometimes the gravity will be a lot lower, um, or a lot heavier. Uh, the, there are some planets that the entire surface is covered in lava, and no some planets that are, that are completely ocean. <laughs> no kidding. So there's actually like there's there'll be difference in differences in the physics too as well. That's kind of cool. Yes. <laughs> Neat. Um. So you don't actually have to dig underground to get this stuff from underground. Uh. I mean, you need to be near it, close enough to it to pick it up. Uh. Yep. But you could uh you could easily use the matter manipulator to kind of that is very cheat cool. cheat and scope out the uh the um fog of the world areas down there. <laughs> very cool. So again, um, our goal here is to build a robotic woman. No, that does, that's not going to help us. <laughs> yeah, probably it's kind of weird too. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> First hope when we get down to the planet is to build some women. Fantastic. Uh, okay. Oh, so, uh, sorry, I I com uh, completely told you the wrong thing. Uh, you, you actually have to walk up to the crafting table and press E to access. Oh, okay. The so. the larger. Uh, stuff that you can craft. Oh, um, one way to heal yourself is to sleep in a bed. The other way is uh, a bandage, which you pick up from the chest. I think, yeah, I got a, ban a bandage from that chest. Okay, and how would I use that? Just uh, like, you oh, would... just on the bar. Okay, I see. Okay, gotcha. And uh, you, you, you could hold that in your hand and uh, use it on yourself if you ever get hurt. Okay, so we've got a crafting table. Uh, now what? <laughs> okay, so let's see. What does the quest line say? Uh, oh. Plant fibers can be used to fashion bandages uh, in case I get hurt. So uh, we can chop down vines to get plant fiber to create bandages. Um, and you might have already completed that quest since you picked up the bandages from the chest. Okay. So I have three bandages. And then... So you still need bandages, right? Uh, yes. Uh, and if you have the bandages in your quick bar, you can press Q to drop them. Okay, hang on. <laughs> uh, sorry, just give me a sec. Here. Oh, there we no, go. No, that's fine. Um, <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, so, yes. <laughs> I will... Uh... Do you feel like I'm a liability already? Cause I no, no, no. No, it's fine. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to let you hold on to the bandages. Okay. Um, and I just now realized from looking at your character that you kind of look like... Uh, Fry from Futurama, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of what I was going for. It kind of, kind of like the Fawns meets, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, All right, was, so now we, uh, we need to get raw steak. Um, we can uh, get steak from uh, from the various animals around the planet by crafting a uh, 
a hunting spear or a uh, hunting bow. And uh, the hunting spears are in this crafting table. It just takes uh, three cobblestone and three unrefined wood. So th- a sword doesn't cut it. We have to have a spear or a bow. To get the to get the raw steak. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I want to ask questions, but I won't. Okay, so... No, no, hunting... no it's, it's fine. Uh, just uh, ask away. Oh, cobblestone. Okay, so that would be... Uh... Oh, that's that's what you're digging right now. Right. Oh, ah, um... Okay. And as you can tell, there is a day-night cycle. Um, also, uh, you can get twice as, mu- twice as many resources from one area by holding the uh, right mouse button to uh, mine the, the background. To mine the... Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so there's different layers here. I get it. Yeah, there are two different layers. Nifty. And uh, that, that kind of helps uh, with the aesthetics if you want to build a house. You now, can... me, me mining uh, this area right underneath this crafting table, everything's not going to fall in my head, is it? Uh, no, there are not currently... Um, <laughs> Uh, levolution physics. <laughs> okay, in gotcha. this game. Okay, good. Because <laughs> of course I'm going to. I, I I normally I do things and then I ask questions. So just so you know. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, also at night, uh, more hostile creatures do come out and try to murder our faces. Oh, fantastic! Well, yeah, I was. You know, totally. It's kind of <laughs> you, you know nighttime's usually a bad time for video games. <laughs> um. So this is. Oh, hey. So th- I noticed there's like these these cave thingies like, whoa, <gasps> uh oh. Remember what I said about me doing stuff and then not, then asking questions later. <laughs> um, you can also uh, build. Uh, pretty much. Oh, that's uh, that's that's a uh, vine. So that will give you plant fiber if you want it. Oh, nifty. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Do you need some of this? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. Um. One cool, another really awesome thing about this game, um, even though it doesn't have um, like true physics in regards to um, like solid uh, solid objects, there is very very good water physics. Um, the, 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 the water will actually uh, will actually equal itself out, or try to at least, and uh, it'll actually flow down uh, a path if I actually kind of open this up a little bit. So if if there was water above us and we dug upwards, would it fill up and we'd drown? Yes. Ah, fantastic. Good to know. <laughs> okay, so I got a whole bunch more vines too as well if you need them. I'm gonna make this a little bit easier on us. I mean, I'm 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 not the best in, at parkour in this game because it is kind of difficult. So. <laughs> oh, me and my parkour skills in real life. No, I have none. <laughs> I have none. Don't worry. Uh, okay, so now we can build the. Uh, the things with the doodad, right? Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna build a couple of uh, couple of hunting spears. So I guess. Myself. So does does the game kind of forgiving in that when you start, um, creatures don't start coming at you like right away? Uh, like well, if night? we're it, if we're in an area like this, normally creatures won't come to get us. Um, well, not normally, but if we start traveling around the planet, um, they well, we will run into some pretty nasty. Um, monsters um okay. and uh <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a lot of really cool like nifty facts that might or might not help you um each of the planets are round like if you walk in one direction for long enough you will eventually get back to where you started from <laughs> really so these are yes. really small planets uh some are large some are small um whenever you start traveling through space you'll see um pictures of the planets and some will be uh larger than others on the map and it actually does um it actually does uh, kind of equal the actual size of the planet whenever you try to walk around it. Oh, wild. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you you are not using up any ammo. You're only using up your energy whenever you fire that bow. Oh, uh, okay. Hold on. Let's test that out. So you're, you're actually hurt. Uh, just a little bit, yeah. And uh, so are you. Oh, okay. How did you get hurt? Um, I, was, I was being I, careless. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 was, I was trying to protect you from the monsters. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Te- technically, should we start building a shelter, or are we just trying to get enough fuel to get out of here? Uh, for, I mean, our, our main quest line right now is to try to fix up our ship. So okay. uh, g- g- going through these these tutorial missions will eventually okay. uh, lead us to how we can fix up our ship. 
Okay, so my ship has been damaged and I'm in orbit. Unknown planet, keep moving. Need to repair the ship's thrusters, patch up. Okay, so food fight. That's that's yes. what I have. So I have food fight and uh, no place like home. So raw steak by killing a monster with a hunting bow. So uh, uh, why 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 can't we use our sword to kill a monster? Um, I mean, I I, I want to say that uh, <laughs> realistically, if you try to slice a monster with a sword, you'll end up just mangling all of the meat. But uh, ah, but that wouldn't make sense. <laughs> ah, oh crap! Ah, all right, steak. so. I, yeah, I, I I hit it with uh, with the spear. Um, oh, also, okay. also uh, we can harvest this corn, and <laughs> I think these are peas of some kind. Oh. And uh, we can also use those to eat. But uh, to finish up the quest, we will need to build this a campfire. Sounds like one hell of a meal. Some uh, weird, crazy creature with some peas and <laughs> corn. This is great. Yep. It's a well-rounded diet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you've got the steak. Oh, we need more steak. Uh, I I don't think so. Oh, hold on. <laughs> uh, I am currently... Placing. Oh, we need... Uh, oh, and cook it on a campfire. So do we have one of those? No, we don't have one. I have... Uh, I, I just made one. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. So, yeah. Uh, there we go. Um, and this will... Oh, oops. I accidentally just ate it. No, that's okay. That's fine. I didn't want any. Okay. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you get dropped off on this strange planet in the middle of nowhere. You finally find some food. You cook it, and then your buddy just eats it. It's like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. You didn't really want that, did you? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! There. there we go. Ha! Huh. All right, so if you go back... And I'm not okay. sharing. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Um, I will, I will let you deal with that, if I will... Um, there's so actually do I, some... do I have to have it in my my hot bar in order to cook it? Uh, no. Whenever you go over to the campfire, you can press E on it, and uh, it'll have a place where you can put raw food. Ah, excellent. There we go. <clears throat> nice. Cook. Right. Um. So there are different sized chests as well. Um. Some oh, of these... so there is a way to take the food without eating it and not sharing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just teasing. <laughs> totally teasing. Oh, you found a chest. Yeah, um, and I, I, it's a larger version of what you have. So, but, but it doesn't go away. Like, we can keep that. That's a place to store shit. Yeah. Or stuff. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, that's great. Um, and, uh, in, in the chest, I actually found a, um, a, a much really better, big weapon. A much better, uh, it's, it's a rusty stick, but it, it has better, um, it has a better. S so weapons, okay. Oh, I see. Weapons have a DPS, swing speed, and damage per swing. So we're we're interested in the uh, the DPS. I guess is the number that we're interested in, right? Uh, more or less, yes. Yeah. And okay. um, different weapons will have different attributes. Uh, the ones that you find can have um anything just from regular strikes like that, or they can have flame damage, uh, lightning damage, acid damage. They could have kind of explosive bolts that'll like go out from them and uh hit enemies there, there, there are some pretty ridiculous weapons in this game and also awesome. there are um there are little npc camps and uh i'm not sure where the npc from this Ooh. this little tent is but uh he, he probably died from from the uh, hostile creatures on this planet and we and, and we can actually pick up this tent so if you want to if you want to take that tent you can <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm just i'm just having a nap it's raining outside i don't want to be out here <laughs> Oh, that healed me right up. That's awesome. Yep. That's great. Okay, how do I stop? Uh, you can... I, I think you just walk out. Oh. Ah, there we go. Okay, and, so... And, and, and then you can pick it up with your mana manipulator. Ah, gotcha. Okay. All right. Perfect. Um, I have learned more in the last uh, 10 minutes playing <laughs> with you than I did... Well, the entire 30 minutes I did the first time. <laughs> so, uh, that little thing that was right below you, um, it's a little capsule. Sometimes it'll have... Uh, Different items in it. Most most of the time, it'll have pixels in it. For so us what to you're use. saying is, I should be paying attention. And also, so pixels. So I assume we can trade and buy stuff from people. Uh, yes. Uh, whenever we actually um get to the outpost, which we will. Oh crap! Ah! <laughs> and there Oops. is fall damage, so be very very careful. Oh okay. <laughs> well, I subconsciously, I think I wanted to go down there, so that's alright. <laughs> Okay, so you, you're definitely uh, you're proficient here. Okay, so oh, he's all oh, right. He's a bad guy. Ah. <laughs> oh, 
crap. Somehow I managed to drop my sword or something. Hold on. Uh, did you? I think I did. It's gone. Where is it? Hmm. <laughs> Not sure. Uh, you can have. No, that's okay. I've, I've got a. I've got. Uh, I've got spears and stuff. So that's okay. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> I, I think you might have been holding and pressed, and I suddenly pressed Q. Um, so, normally what I do whenever I get to a new planet, I kind of run around the surface, see if there's any uh, good loot chests that I can find, and then after that I try to get all the resources I can out of the place. So we're basically going around the planet? Yes. And we should be stopping to get these pixels, or no? Uh, we can. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it... it in, in in the short term, it, it's it's good. Oh, uh, that is a buff. You can press oh. E on it, and, and sometimes it'll have a helpful uh, buff, and sometimes it'll have a harmful buff. So Oh, crap. I just crashed. This is awesome. This is actually way better than <clears throat> what I expected. I, I, I mean, I know... I, and well, Okay, so in your opinion, what what's the most... The craziest thing you could build in this game? <laughs> oh, uh, are you oh, talking structures? Or... Yeah, like structures. Or like, I don't know, machines. Like, I'm assuming we can get into some pretty advanced stuff. Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, the only thing that he has as far as machines is the crafting tables and such that you can build to get, uh, better armor and better guns. Oop, I died. <gasps> you died? <gasps> <gasps> oh. Yeah, so, uh, whenever you die, you go through this little cutscene, um, and it's different for each race, but for me, I'm being built right now. <laughs> uh, is it bad that I was looking for all your stuff? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Uh, I, I, I have it set on an easier difficulty, so we only use, we only lose a little bit of pixels whenever we die. I think. Well, I had. I think I set mine on normal difficulty. So when I die, you'll be able to collect something else from me. <laughs> I'm I'm not sure if that works. Cause I think one of my friends had um, his set on normal, but he didn't drop anything, so I'm not really sure. So. I, I, okay, I gotta admit something. I, I I think I was I was feeling a little bit like this was Mario, and I thought if I jumped on the bad guy, <laughs> it would hurt him. Okay, so just uh, just letting you know that you're playing with somebody who's absolutely useless. Okay, so you have actually gone all the way around the globe now. Uh, I have not. Anywhere on the planet, you can beam back up to your ship. Uh, uh, there is a button on the side underneath where the exclamation point is. Gotcha. Which beam up to your ship, and it will beam you back down to the original place. Gotcha. Onto the planet. So that, that, that's a really quick and simple way to get back to a base um, that you might invade. Okay. Um, and I did get around to a pre like a, a, a randomly generated type of dungeon. Um, and uh, if you want to follow me, we can go check oh, it out. Oh, sure. And, um, a randomly generated dungeon? Yeah, there are uh, different styles of dungeons that, that might or might not spawn on certain planets. Um, some of them might be villages. All right. Uh, some of them might be villages. Some of them might be um, mining stations that'll go deep into the ground. Some of them might be um, uh, little challenges, like test areas that you might need to go through to get a really cool prize at the very end. So, like, it takes us in a different instance, kind of thing. Uh, no. Uh, it's actually like in the planet. Uh um, and, and the one that we came up, uh, that the one that I came up across was um, type uh, was kind of a I'm trying to think of what it might be closely related to. It was kind of a storage area of sorts. Um, and there, there's probably going to be monsters down in there, but we might find some cool stuff. Cool. Um. <laughs> Also, as, as it's getting night, uh, cold might be a factor on certain planets um, to where we might need to stick close to a fire or a torch. Oh, crap. I just uh, I just got booted out again. So I'm going to do this. Uh, so I was using the 64-bit OpenGL. I'm going to try the just the regular OpenGL. Oh, okay. Open yeah, I, All right. right, so let's go here. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. Give me fun. Yeah, there there is a lot of stuff in this game. Um, so no, so now you can kind of see why I sunk when I, uh, about 130 hours into this. Yeah, it was pretty funny when I was talking to uh, Adam here about uh, about Starbound. He's like, 
I'm like, well, you might have to help me out because, well, I don't know anything about the game. And he's like, well, I've only put 139 hours into it. I'm like, what? <laughs> what do you mean 139 hours and you might know something about it? <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, I, I've, I've played this for a couple of the updates now. And uh, on, on each update, it just gets better and better. Um, like, for instance, way later on in the game, um, there is a Pokemon type game mechanic in here where you can get capture pods to capture these these uh these animals and then throw them back out to fight for you okay <laughs> <laughs> so like the you get the little pods and you throw it and you say whatever and right <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding <laughs> i I'm, I'm not kidding at all <laughs> who thinks up this stuff i mean it's it's ridiculous i have love no it. idea absolutely um, love it and and this game does have a very 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 strong mod base uh so, if if this game ever does get stale for you, which would happen after maybe 130 hours, <laughs> yeah, you could always delve into some of the mods and uh, get a whole new game. So, is this, out of is it. this the first time you have played this multiplayer? Oh, oh crap! Uh, it is not actually. Okay, I I've played it quite a bit with uh, with a lot of my friends. Okay, and I I'm not doing too well with focusing on how how my health is. <laughs> um, well, I think you're spending a lot of time, you know, just. <laughs> Protecting me, who's been completely useless here. <laughs> um, okay, so should I just keep going, or should I come back? Or uh, you can keep going and explore the world, because uh, I, I think we were getting pretty close to that that dungeon that I was talking about. And uh, oh, crap, I lost my sword again. Wow, really? Yeah, we're, how? What? I don't <laughs> understand. What am I? How is it? Ah. Um, I I I'm I'm I I don't think I'm hitting anything other than. It should be just on the ground, though. Right? Oh, there it is. Weird. <laughs> okay, uh, I must be... Yeah, I must be hitting Q. That must be what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, no, no, Q didn't get rid of it. How am I getting rid of it? Hmm. That's weird, because, I mean, Q, for me, drops... Drops items out of the Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, there we go. Okay, I see. I see what I'm doing. So, why am I hitting Q? That's weird. Okay. <laughs> um, it's probably good that I practice a little bit of... Uh, combat here anyway. Probably. Rather than just relying on you. <laughs> there we go. I'm really not that useless. Well, kind of. Ah. I'm, I'm, I'm not used to playing platformers. I think that's what it is. More than anything else. There we go. <laughs> um, along with the randomly generated nature of the... Oh, uh... Oh, that's not good. Is shooting that good? stars... Oh. Let me uh, let me see if this hurts me. No, it does not hurt me. Uh, I, I believe that these are shooting stars. So, as you can see, uh, there are <laughs> there are uh, ra ran random environment changes. Oh, here we go. So, but the, it doesn't actually hurt anything. Uh, this is the this is the dungeon that I was talking about. There Ooh. is actually uh, down on the ground over here. I remember seeing uh, kind of the opening to the uh, like a storage area type of thing. So uh, this this will go down into the ground and like loop around and go all over the place. Uh, but right now we can. So in every does every planet like have at least one of these kind of things? Uh, not usually. Um, but sometimes uh, it, like I I would say maybe um forty percent of the time they'll have something cool on them, and uh. Each of these is a container that we can open up and, and check for goodies. Like, uh, on this one, I have a... <laughs> you notice they have metal chairs? That's awesome. Yeah. Just metal yeah. fold-out chairs. That's great. <laughs> like turd chairs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we we can actually take this this uh, this lamp, this oil lantern, and uh, add it to our base. Uh, we have a base? I, I don't know. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll, our, we have a our, crafting table. <laughs> our, 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 our crafting table in one chest. And our chest, yes. Actually, I don't know. Wouldn't it make more sense to move here? This looks nice. They got the folding table or folding chairs and okay, okay. So all well, these are empty. Uh, I, I've I've been rumbling through them. Of course. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. So I I got a lot of really cool stuff. Um, I'm actually going to um hand some of it over to you. Oh, that's fine. Uh, no, I mean I I actually want you to kind of mess around with some of the stuff and uh, get used to because I I've had plenty of time to, um to mess around with this stuff so let's see uh you're gonna, gonna be best 
Oh, I picked up your sword, so I'll give that back to you. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay, so, uh, the first thing, say bomb. <laughs> a bomb? What yes. the hell? Was, and, that, uh, was that here in one of these yes. tests? Oh. Yes, it was. Uh, and, and you can throw it, and it, and it damages enemies, damages the terrain. Um, <laughs> you trust me with something like that? Uh, yeah. Really? <laughs> uh, give, give the new guy, give the new guy the explosives. That's a good idea. And then uh, there is climbing rope, which we can actually craft uh, pretty easily. Um, and then there are throwing blocks, which I've never uh, actually seen before, but they're blocks that you can throw. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so it, 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 but it, it's 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 really something to say that I've never uh, seen a block in here, um, because I played this for 130 hours and I'm still getting surprised by some of the stuff that pops in because I've n I've never seen the, the throwing block. So um, the throwing block would be something you use to help yourself uh, navigate some of the lower levels or something. Uh, that would be used for it. Yes, I actually didn't think of it that way. <laughs> like like maybe you've got a throw a block in front of a bad guy or something. <laughs> I don't know. Just... Uh, and then these, I, I'm, I'm sure you have some of these in your inventory. Those are saplings, and you can plant those and grow more trees so you won't have to keep running around the planet trying to find wood. Uh, so if uh, technically speaking, if we went around the whole planet we chopped down all the trees, would they ever grow back? They would not. <laughs> oh, okay, good to know. <laughs> so they, uh, I, I gotta have one of these chairs, man. <laughs> Sorry, these are awesome. These are coming back. They're so trashy. I love it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> what about these boxes? We don't want all this stuff. Or do you care? I mean, we we, we can take it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a hoarder. Just so I you mean, know. I'm I'm campfire is coming with me. <laughs> I, I'm I'm just kind of running around the planet exploring. I I don't normally take a whole lot of stuff. You can press down in space to uh, to fall through oh. the floor, but don't fall too fast. Don't. You can actually let go of. Uh... Oh, that's a that's a hostile. <laughs> Um, to to avoid fall damage, uh, what you would do is you would just hold down, press space, let go of, uh, or, or hold S, and then let, like, let go of AS, S so you could easily climb down without uh, taking too much fall damage. Gotcha. And uh, these stairs are the same way. They're just slanted versions of what you're walking on right now. Gotcha. And, uh, that okay. doesn't have anything in it. So uh, down through here, there's just a whole lot of uh, whole lot of stuff. There's, there's pots that we can break to get more uh, pixels or items right down here <laughs> oh. we could we oh wow okay uh, so there's there's enough uh, metal chairs lying around here to start my own <laughs> we could hey we could start a religion no that's probably a bad idea especially on YouTube do not start a religion on YouTube <laughs> okay uh, in this top uh, wooden chest here there's a hammer that you can take to use as a uh, as a weapon <laughs> oh a, a smoocher <laughs> <laughs> a weak smoocher. Uh, it's a two-headed, and it actually has, it does more damage than that sword. Yeah, uh, most most weapons that you could find or build will do more damage than these starter items. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so is it random what you start with, then? Uh, no, it is not. Oh, okay. Um, but it is different depending on what race you are. Uh, wooden platform. Oh, okay. So I'm, I haven't been taking anything. I hope you've been taking stuff. Uh, I, I've, I've been taking a couple of things, I, but, I, but, but, I, but I wanted you to kind of explore and, and get used to stuff as well. Um, the, the, the wooden platforms are the stairs and these flat bits right here, so you could you could easily make a multi-level house. Oh, that's wicked! <laughs> um, of course, we, well, we don't want it made out of wood, do we? Or is that our, is that our only choice? Is wood? Uh, I mean, we could we can make it out of stone. We can make it out of iron. You, there's, there's, oh, there's a whole so lot you of can stuff. eventually smelt iron and stuff like that. Yes, uh, and, th and that's actually our current quest. But we've been kind of exploring around and oh, okay. Checking out all the all the cool stuff around here. Uh, ooh. Uh, oh, torches! I lost all those right at the beginning too. <laughs> I, I apparently I have a habit of just dumping stuff. <laughs> ooh, pixels. Uh, so uh, traders. So we, we we have to get our ship repaired before we can find anybody to trade with. Um. More or less, yes. Uh, we're gonna repair the ship's thrusters, and then we'll be able to go to the outpost. Um, in this sector, and then after that, we can uh, repair our ship's hyperdrive. Ah, ah, oh stuff. crap! Oh crap! Bad guy! Bad guy! No, no, don't go in there! <laughs> no, don't go in there! Oh, I got him. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I get a little excited. Um, uh, what was it? Oh, right. This would be really cool if it was like this, this like almost like an uh, MMO. Like you just had people traveling planets, planet to planet, exploring and stuff. That'd be really cool. 
Um, servers could be as big as you want them, I believe. Uh, I haven't really seen a, uh, a size cap. And I haven't, I haven't gone on any of the public servers, but um, I, I would imagine it's just completely barren on most planets where people just strip mine all the resources and left. Right, because, yeah, the resources don't grow back, so you just got to keep finding new planets. But I assume okay. there's just unlimited amounts of planets. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to beam up to my ship and then beam back down to get back to our crafting table quicker. Um, I, I, I just wanted to explore the planet and kind of show you some of the terrain generations and some of the cool stuff that, that would uh, pop up in certain worlds. Okay. Is there there's a place I can store stuff here, right? Uh, in your ship, yes. It yeah, is. Okay. It is where you took the uh, yeah, your items it. out, <laughs> and um, uh, like I said, if you wanted to start a single player world, you would uh, load in a completely new universe and uh, have your everything. Item, yeah, your your items would stay in the ship's uh, hold as well as your inventory. Wicked. Very so very I, cool. So I am currently back at the crafting table. I'm going to craft a stone furnace. Um, there are more high tech. Uh, ways to uh, to smelt things and make things, but right now we're stuck with the basics. <laughs> okay. I am slowly getting the hang of this. Mm, yeah. It, it, it does take some getting used to, but uh, the tutorial is a huge, huge help. Uh, if I beam back to the planet... Hold on. It didn't beam me back to... Hold on. Let me go back out here. Beam... Hold on. <laughs> beam home, is that right? Beam home. Uh, 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 you, you, you could also do that. Um, beam to planet would beam you to the planet that you're directly above. You can set a home planet uh, that you have your base on, and you can actually beam there from anywhere. Okay. So I currently have a stone furnace. I'll pass that to you before we place it down. Here, you can uh, take that, and I'll take care of this dude. Okay. Um, Let me pause. <laughs> okay. Also... Uh, each of the enemies are procedurally generated. There's a there's a there's a whole bank of parts that they can put monsters together with and have have them have different attacks and different speeds and what? Um, different sizes really? and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so even like so these aren't you've never seen these creatures before then? I have not. Each each playthrough is gonna be new and ex and exciting, which is one thing I love about this game. This is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can place the furnace down anywhere uh, okay. that you want to. Uh, I don't know. Any preference? Uh, it doesn't matter. Right by the tree. That looks very serene. Yeah, <laughs> pretty. Oh, All wait, right. wait. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Sorry, I got to do this. Okay. Uh, we need to put some, some uh, metal chairs down, dude. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, like down in here so we don't get rained on. <laughs> I think that would work. Actually, uh, let's, uh, I'm, I'm going to clear this out a little bit more so we have a flat space to sit and kind of contemplate our uh, our futuristic white trash exists. we devise our plans. All right. <laughs> we need a meeting place to figure out how we're going to get more women on this planet. Because uh, <laughs> that is a serious problem. Um, how do I... Uh, oh, there we go. I see. Got oh, uh, I didn't realize that before. Uh, this hole is actually filling up with, uh, with water. water. <laughs> From the hey, rain. Maybe a bad place to have our meeting hall. But I don't know. So can, can we do kind of like... Have you ever played Craft the World where you can put like a little... Uh, where you're digging underground and you can put a little, uh, like a little door right here, kind of thing, to uh, kind of block out the rain. We can put uh, one of the wooden platforms, oh, or okay. or a couple of the wooden platforms there. Oh, nifty! So we, you could technically build underground and not have to worry about drowning. In other words, exactly. That's kind of cool. I don't know I, okay. it feels kind of secret layerish if we had about underground, but oh, there you go. <laughs> Okay, guys, gonna pause it here. Stay tuned for episode two today. Yes, today we're gonna have another episode. This one was just running a little too long, so I wanted to split it up, so stay tuned.